Hi YouTube, this is Rose, and this video is about devils, demons, and attack of the enemy. The gates have been opened. The activity of, of madness is uh, going off the charts. And I'm not just talking about fake news, false flags, uh, what possibly is true and what is not. I'm talking about our personal lives. Things going on in our personal lives. And, and things that are happening, as I see for the community of Uthers and Christians on YouTube. Uh, today I saw Minister Paul. He's under attack that he's got, he's dealing with dead birds. Uh, a guy that is telling people on YouTube to cut themselves and, and drip the blood on his name. I mean, this man is under serious attack. And we're talking a man who's been, you know, pretty much immersed in the word for many many years and and preaching the word and sharing the word and and, and walking the walk okay so I, I he I'm not saying he's perfect but I'll tell you what I believe him to be a brother in Christ I believe him to truly be under attack I believe him to be uh, him to have his own personal relationship with Christ and I believe him to be saved then I saw a video by a call for an uprising this morning they took his video down that he was saying that uh, he's a bit fed up with um, McDonald's and Target uh, throwing the LGBT in, or in his face. And he's got a lot of people that are constantly trying to flag and flag everything, but this one uh, got taken down and now he's got a community strike and he can't do his live shows. But what I'm trying to say is that that just goes to show the enemy is working in high places. It's all in the scriptures. But it's also in the scriptures that we are to stand in power and authority. If we don't get into that power and authority now, I, we're at a time where there is no other option. The tricks of the enemy, and, and there's an unlimited amount of tricks of the enemy, and the enemy never sleeps, folks. If we don't get into power and authority and, and, and step into fear less, at least less than we were before, if we don't start feeding our mind, our bodies, and our spirits, those things that are of God, not of man, but of God, we are going to perish. It is time for us to pick up our sword, pick up our responsibility. God gives the gifts, but we it's our responsibility to receive them. And we receive them by actually believing. Oh, sisters and brothers, if I could just tell you what has been happening in my life in the last year, this year alone. Ever since uh, this thing with Donna and Laura. Man, the Lord, I mean, he's always worked in a powerful way. But I'm telling you, sisters and brothers, I've never seen God move so powerfully in everybody and everything in my life. And I want this for you. It doesn't mean my life is perfect. It doesn't mean I don't suffer attacks. But now I can recognize it's the enemy, it's not me, and I don't have to knock myself down going, oh, you feel terrible over that person, or whatever. The, you know, the attacks of the enemy sometimes come in anxiety, stress, uncomfortability, crankiness. Those are not, that's not from the Spirit of God. So we know that what spirit that comes from. And we recognize it, and we don't own those things, those feelings. Those are just feelings. We're not supposed to go by our feelings. We're supposed to go by faith. And when we feel uncomfortability, take it to the Lord and continue to take it to the Lord until it's gone. Whether it takes a day of crying on your knees, two days, whatever it takes, running, jumping, drinking lots of water, it'll go away if you continue and seek the Lord and don't give up and do not stop and recognize it. God has all power and authority. He has given it to you as a child of Most High God. I have so much to say, sisters and brothers. Okay, this is uh, Matthew 22, King James Version. But I say unto you that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of judgment. Without cause. The reason I bring up and share this scripture with you brothers and sisters, is 
I'm going to sidetrack for a bit. I have been exposing Laura. And um, it has gone amazing. The Lord has worked so amazing. He, he brought to my table. He prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemy throughout this whole thing. He brought Nicole to me. I could not possibly find her. I didn't even brought Sean to me. I could not find him. He prepared Jim years ago. And he has brought more people to me. It would blow your mind. And all the information I have found would make your jaw drop. So the reason I, I share this with everyone is so if they're you know don't be afraid to reprove or to test any spirit Laura Lee Dykstra is angry without cause not just with me but with everybody in her life even when she's praying she sounds like she's screaming at God I, I was listening to one of her prayer rounds and I was thinking boy God must I mean, he, he can hear it, but I don't think he's, I know he's not listening, but I could just picture God standing there with his hair getting blown back, you know, it's, but I'll tell you this, God is mighty, and I'm not going to give up all and complete hope for Laura Lee Dykstra, and what I mean by that is, I know God can move mountains, I've seen it, so he could move that mountain, but that's between her and him. My part is to keep the body of Christ fed and safe, comforted, and direct them to the leader, which is our shepherd, Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I just thank you, Father. You are so amazing, and I know you always hear our prayers. Lord, I pray that you would just stir in the hearts each and every person that is listening. Lord, that you would give them your confidence, your strength, and, and refresh them. Heal them, Father. Let them cling to those promises, Lord, and let them claim them. Let us stand in the power and authority that you gave us as children of the Most High God. Let us know that the enemy, all he has is tricks and no power. For you have created all things. And for your good pleasure have you created them. And I know, Lord, if we repent and turn from our wicked ways, that you will heal us. And you will guide us and protect us and bless us. I praise you, Father. For not one word has ever come up void. And every word I have read in your, in, in your Bible, Lord, has come to fruition and has even manifested in my life so powerfully that I cannot, I just live my life in absolute amazement. And I thank you, Lord, and I ask that you would give this to each and every person that is listening, Father, and to all those you know who I love and who is my brothers and sisters in spirit and in truth, Lord. I love them, Lord, and I ask that you would bless them this day and that you would free them from the strongholds and the bonds of the enemy, from the attacks. I plead the blood of Jesus over all that they are and all that they have and all that they love. Lord God, and I pray you put a fiery hedge about them that no evil would come to them. Lord God, I pray that you would pour your wisdom, your mercy, your grace, and your peace would be still in our hearts, minds, and souls, in our homes, in our families. Bless our bless the works of our hands, Lord, and, and bless all that we do for you. Help us and guide us, and we just thank you and we praise you, Father. In your precious name. Oh, Lord, one more thing. Be with the children, Father. Protect them in a supernatural way. And 
for all those that are suffering, Father. I pray that you would give them the understanding that they need to endure and the strength. I ask not that you change our tasks that you have given us, but that you would give us the strength and the wisdom to do them. To your honor and to your glory and according to your will, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much. I love each and every one of you. And I appreciate your precious time. And I pray that this blessed you. And I pray that you are blessed this day. Bye-bye.